Hey, I'm Skyler. Working with tables in numbers can be a little bit tricky until you understand how to edit references correctly. So let's take a look at this very simple personal budget in numbers in order to understand how references work. So I've got a few categories here like food, home, gas, other, and then down below we have transactions. There's a table up here which shows my budget surplus or shortage. So I'm going to start just putting in some transactions here. So you know, the other day I got some, uh, some more beer, which cost, you know, maybe $25, okay? So I could say that that's uh, part of the food, you know, category, but I really don't think it is, it doesn't fit. So what I'm gonna do is copy this whole thing. I tap in the gray line out here, copy, and then what I'm gonna do is insert and paste paste formulas. Okay, so it's food for now, but if I tap on that twice and change it to beer, all of a sudden I've got a brand new category. I'm going to delete this row that I put in by accident. Okay, so now we see in the table up here, I've actually got a new category called beer. And my beer budget right now is $200, so let's reduce that to something more reasonable, um, like $2,000 or $20,000. There we go. And now we can see that out of my $2,000 budget, I'm not even close. So much surplus there. Now, the reason why that automatically updated was because the references were set correctly. So if I tap once on the table and tap Edit References, I can see that it's referring to these categories here and these numbers here. That's the critical thing. Now, I can tap this little blue circle over here and adjust this reference. So if it's just on the food category, my table wouldn't automatically update. But as I drag it down, that extends the range of the references and will cause the table to update automatically. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.